I promise there is no surprise at the end of this video where I reveal that I've got tickets for a holiday. I wish I did. Unfortunately, I don't. Meh. Hey guys, how you all doing? It's been a while since I've done a random thoughts video, but I've been kind of itching to do this one. Just being too lazy to do it. And so I ended up making a few notes on my phone about what I'm going to talk about. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm missing holidays. A lot. What I mean by that is, I will just be doing something totally random. I could be at the toilet, or I could be watching the television, or reading a book, or whatever. And all of a sudden, an image will pop into my head of a holiday that I have been on. Now, most of it is Los Angeles. But every now and then something else will pop in there, like South Wales, when I was camping there, Scotland last year, and also Lanzarote, which has been 13 years since I was there. And it took me a good week to realise why this was happening, because I miss holidays. Right now I'm off work for two weeks. I was going to go camping this week at some point. I mean, the sun's come out, the weather is beautiful all of a sudden. It wasn't this morning. That's the surprise. So it'd have been great setting up my tent today or tomorrow in this kind of weather. Unfortunately, because of the whole coronavirus pandemic, I decided I'm not going to go camping. I mean, I could. I know I can, but some of the campsites that I was looking at, they were encouraging you to take your own wash facilities. And I like to have a proper shower that I can use. Although a friend of mine from work, he has got himself a portable shower that you plug into the cigarette lighter of your car and then you put I think you put like a pipe in a tub of water or something and it will give you a shower a proper shower however I'm like where on earth could I put that in my tent I mean sure I could hang it on a hook somewhere actually he also said it came with a normal plug so I'd have the plug socket but the trouble is the water it just go all over the tent the ground sheet of the tent because that's fastened to the tent. I can't move it to one side and let the water just go all over the grass. And he did suggest maybe doing it outside it with your shorts on. And to me it's just too much hassle. I just want to be able to go into a washroom, go into a shower and wash properly. But I think that's why I'm missing holidays because I've not been since September last year. A year ago. Holy moly, what date are we on? Hold on. I'm filming this on the 8th of September. So yeah, it's been a year because I went to Scotland last year on the 9th of September. Wowzers. But I do, I like, have these images of things that I did, like right now, just, just suddenly popped into my head the boat ride that Harley and I did on Loch Ness. And now I'm thinking about when I was driving in LA. See, see this is what I mean. These thoughts just keep popping into my head and because I'm talking about it it's happening even more and talking of LA it's been what almost two years since I went back there that was October what was the actual date I'm trying to remember hold that thought okay I just had to go and have a look it was the first of October that I went I came back on the 15th but going back to camping trips I've decided that I'm going to start doing longer camping trips than I would normally. I mean, let's see, when I went to Snowdon was the first one. That was, what, four nights? Something like that. And I've sort of done that on every trip. I've decided that from now on, I'm going to do at least a week camping. You know, just to have more time in a place. Like, for example, when I went to South Wales, I was there for four nights, five nights, and I know for a fact that I did not explore all of the area at all. I did Brecon Beacons National Park, I did Swansea, Cardiff, Carmarthen, Tembe, but there were all these other areas to the west that, I, and, and to the north as well that I just never ventured to because I didn't have the time, or I didn't give myself the time. So that's going to hopefully happen sometime next year see that's the problem right now I have the money in my bank account 
to go on one of these holidays abroad. I've got the the money to pay for the hotel and the flights and the transport and all that. And I've got the spending money too. I could so easily do it. Unfortunately, I don't want to go somewhere where I get quarantined for two weeks, miss out on all those adventures and then get sent home where I'd have to quarantine for another two weeks because it depends on where you go. It's funny, my friends, they've just been to Holland and two days after they'd got there, it was announced that anybody coming back from there have to quarantine for two weeks. So right now, they're in quarantine. I'd go stir crazy. I, I can't, I could not do that. So I don't want to risk it. <sighs> what else? Oh yeah, let me have a look at what else I've written down. Oh, the only last thing, running. I've started running again. It started with me going to a country park called Rother Valley. And I know that it's a three mile path all the way around the two lakes. And that's how I actually started running way back when, I think 2006 or something like that. And I'd keep doing these three miles until I ran it in under 30 minutes. And that happened, I believe in 2007. And then I just started running out other places doing four miles, five miles, six miles until I was eventually doing 14 mile runs three times a week. I kid you not. I did some marathons. I've got medals to prove that. I've got a picture which I'll put like here somewhere of when I did the Sheffield half marathon in 2008. The funny thing about this picture is it was taken just as I was coming up to the finish line. I'd already gone through what they call the wall at this point. See, it was 13 mile marathon. And like I said, I was doing 14 mile runs at this point, but I was running a lot quicker than I would normally because it was a race. And when I got to the 11th mile, I just felt like I'd got hit by a train. Suddenly my legs became like rocks and I started feeling the strain of trying to do this run. But I managed to get to the end of the race. Another funny thing that happened as I was getting to the end, because the race finished at Don Valley Stadium, which is no longer there, but you had to run around the stadium before coming back into it and then going on the racetrack at the end. And I kid you not, this is no word of a lie. As I got to the outside of the stadium, I had my iPod on, on random, just playing whatever songs it wanted to play. And I swear to God, as I got into that last round of the stadium, Sugar Babes Round Round came on. I, I just burst out laughing. I was just like, the irony of it. So I did that race round, got into the stadium, and I was on the running track, and I just felt this sudden surge to just finish the race. So I went as fast as I could, as you can see in this picture, and as I crossed the finishing line, I willed myself to stop, except I couldn't. I just kept on going. And the next thing I know, straight into the back of somebody. And I'm like, you know, apologizing, telling him, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. And he was like, it's fine, it's fine, I understand, blah, blah, blah. I was worn out after that for a few days. After 2009, my running started slowing down a bit. I wasn't doing it as often. And then in 2010, I had all of these problems with a trapped nerve, a slipped disc, my neck had ripped. I've talked about it many times before. And so all my running just ended out of the window. And as I've been healing since 2010, I've been trying to get back into running, you know, every now and then. What was it, 2017? Just as I was told that all my problems were healing and everything's going back to normal, this silly thing started blooming hurting. I got plantar fasciitis and that's, you know, being still affecting me, even now. But last year I started running. I was trying to do Rother Valley in under 30 minutes and I almost got there and my foot started up again. And I'm like, no, I think I did about six runs last year. Just stopped because of the pain. And then this year, don't ask me why, but out of the blue, I just started thinking, I'm gonna try again. So I started doing Roller Valley and the first run, I think it was like 34 minutes, something or other, I put it on a vlog. And then I did it again, I think a week later or two weeks later, shortened the time. And every time I ran it, it shortened and shortened 
and then at one point it went a bit too big again and one day I was like I'm determined but not too much I didn't want to overexert myself turns out I smashed it I did it in I think 28 minutes and 34 seconds I was like what the heck so since then I've been running further I did a four miles then a four and a half I've recently done 6.09 the trouble is this silly thing is trying to hurt again it's like I do my run the back of my calf starts hurting and then after about two days that pain goes away but it goes down to my foot and it stays there for like a week maybe a week and a half so at the moment it's like I can do six miles but I'm doing it every two weeks now all of a sudden because of the foot but I'm still determined to do it I'm still determined to start running further and further and further I mean the thing is I can do six miles or I did do the six miles without stopping I'm able to run up steep hills that I never used to be able to get up without stopping so the, t the determination is there the willpower is there when I'm running the willpower to actually go running that seems to be waning a little and I think that's because of the foot silly blooming thing but yeah that's where I am with my running I've not run since the Thursday before last that's because of my foot anyway talking about holidays I've got this ticket I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm ending the video though I really do wish I had a holiday to go on but <laughs> but like I say I'm gonna finish the video now all that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have and liking this video if you did until the next time peace out tell you something else I need to do get a new chair this one squeaks too much stop it <laughs>